What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch to your TV to play content like videos, games and things like that and also how to mirror your screen to the TV. Now there are multiple ways of doing this and I'm going to be showing you guys the three best, most reliable methods in this video. So let's not waste any time, let's just jump straight into it. So the very first method is going to be the easiest, most fail proof method and that's going to be using an HDMI adapter cable. Now this is the only method in this video that uses a cord and that's the reason it's the most fail proof because it's just always going to work because it is physically connected. So so you can get this cord on Amazon using the link down in the description below for about $15. That's what it is right now. And it is a pretty long cable, which is ideal if you want to just sit on your couch with your phone hooked up to the TV. So as you can see here, this is what the cable looks like. So the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and plug in the HDMI connector into an HDMI port on your TV. Then you want to take the USB part of the cord and plug that into a USB port on the TV. Now, if you don't have a USB port on your TV, just plug it into a wall outlet. You could just use the one that you charge your iPhone with or something like that and then you want to change the input on your TV to whatever HDMI port you're using so in my case it's HDMI 1 then you want to go ahead and plug the lightning cable into your iPhone I'm using the iPhone 10R and the iPhone 10s Max both of which are on iOS 13 so I can confirm that this does also work on iOS 13 and then you should get a prompt to trust the device go ahead and press on trust and enter in your passcode for your device now this is where your screen will either show up or it will just stay black now if your screen stays black you want to go ahead and download the easycast application in the App Store and update the firmware. This is what happened to me at first, so it very well could happen to you as well. I will have a link for EasyCast down in the description below, but it does also show the name of the application on the splash screen that you should be seeing on your TV right now. And then once you've updated the firmware, you will see that your phone is mirrored on the TV. And you can see here, I am playing YouTube videos in their full quality. You can also play games, all the applications and everything. Now, if you're wanting to play Fortnite on the big screen, just be aware that there is a delay. So it's probably not gonna be very fun because it's really hard to play any kind of shooter game with a delay. So I would recommend not playing Fortnite on a TV when your phone is being mirrored, but there are other games like Pokemon that you can play using my tutorial, which is in the description right now. And pretty much all applications will just show up. You can also go into landscape mode as well and basically just treat the TV like an external monitor for your iPhone. So the second method is going to be using AirPlay. So this is the easiest wireless option, but not all TVs support AirPlay and not everybody has an Apple TV. Now, luckily I have a 2019 Samsung TV that supports AirPlay too. So this is the way that I personally connect my phone to my TV every single time. And of course, it is definitely better than having a cord and it's also native in iOS. So you don't need another application or any kind of firmware updates or anything like that. It just works out of the box, which is why I like AirPlay the best. So of course, to get this to work, all you wanna do is make sure that your iPhone and TV are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And then when you go ahead and load up a video, for instance, you can see here in YouTube, just look for the AirPlay or the Chromecast icon up in the top right here in YouTube. And then if it shows the device right on top, you can just go ahead and click on it. If not, just click on AirPlay and Bluetooth devices, and then just go ahead and connect to your TV. In my case, it's Samsung 7 Series. And you can see it works perfectly fine. Videos play in their full quality. You can also do this for Netflix and Hulu and things like that, which works out really well. Now, if you want to mirror your screen on the TV, that's also super simple and it's native built into iOS. All you wanna do is go ahead and invoke the control center. So swipe down from the top right if you're on an iPhone 10 or later, and then just go ahead and press on the screen mirroring option right here inside of the control center next to the brightness and then you should see your tv or your apple tv populate right there simply click on it and you are mirroring your screen to the tv and then the final method of getting your iphone on your tv is using google chromecast now this is a cheaper alternative to purchasing an apple tv or a whole new tv itself and it's actually what i used for many years leading up until 2019 2019 was the first time i actually started using airplay but before that i used google chromecast religiously so to get this working you will need a chrome Chromecast dongle. I will have a link down in the description below to get them. They are very inexpensive and you can pick them up at Best Buy. You can get it on Amazon and things like that. So once you have the dongle, just plug it into your HDMI slot and then download the Google Home application on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. And then you'll be all set and you can go ahead into the YouTube application and you will press that Chromecast icon and you will see that you can play videos to your TV wirelessly from your iPhone. Now, of course, Chromecast works for many other applications as well, including Twitch, 
Hulu, Netflix, all those applications Chromecast works for as well. So it's definitely a really good option if you don't wanna buy a new Apple TV or a whole new TV that supports AirPlay. So there you have it guys, that is how you can connect your iPhone to your TV and also how you can screen mirror your iPhone to your TV in 2019. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more useful content like this on iPhones and iOS in general. Also feel free to leave a comment down below with your preferred method to get your phone from your iPhone to the big screen. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.